Hey guys, right, so today what we're going to do is we're going to show you some drills which parents can do with their children to help them progress in their jiu-jitsu training. So they're going to put their knees down, feet tucked in nice and tight with their arms out nice and wide. So immediately if I try to push Oliver to either side, he has good base with his hands. But sometimes the people on the bottom are really struggling to get out, so they'll bridge a little bit more so that he'll have to adjust his hands slightly. So parents, what I want you to do is I want you to grab hold of the side of your uh, student's body. You're going to bridge your hips, you're going to lift your hips nice and high and you're going to try to throw them off to the side. Now you can see Oliver is over basing with one of his hands and the second hand is attaching itself to the back of my head or neck. Then I want you to come back down and we'll do the same thing the other side. And we're going to go side to side, getting our student to maintain a good quality tight control with, it, with their legs and also switching their hands over. And we can go a little bit faster each time so that our student can get better. The second thing, what happens a lot from underneath is where our partner pushes up on our chest. So what your student's gonna do is he's gonna swim his hands to the inside to be able to get his body back in close. So he takes one of his hands, swims it through, takes my hand off, then he swims his second hand through, and then he goes back down to his good base position. So again, parents, you're going to push up on the chest, your student's going to swim through, and put the arms again into that nice wide position. Swim, swim, and back down. All right. Another thing that commonly happens from the bottom is when I'm frustrated and can't get him off to the side, can't push him off, is the student turns. Now, it's important that Oliver allows this to happen because if he can get onto my back, that is a really good position for Oliver. So I'm gonna start to turn over. Oliver gives me a little bit of space but doesn't get off of me. Gives me this little bit of space to turn. I will turn myself over and I'm looking to get to my elbows and my knees. As I turn over, Oliver maintains his central control. He's going to put his legs to the inside of my legs, these are called hooks, and he gets what we call a seat belt grip. So one arm over the shoulder, one arm underneath the armpit, so he gets nice tight control. Now. If you'd like to play a little game with your student, we, can, we play something called Crazy Horse in our classes. This is where the student tries to stay on and the parents are moving themselves around. So we would use movements like spinning around. We would try to bump them off. We would maybe try to spin and shake them off and they have to try to hang on as tough and as tight as they can. Maybe we'll try to get rid of one of the hooks try to shake them off and their job is to try and regain the hook as soon as possible. Alright Oliver, let's try them and show them again. So Oliver gets his mount position. I'm going to grab the side of the body and we're going to do two each side, side to side drills. Then we're going to do four swims. Then he gets to take his crazy horse. So I turn over, I get to my elbows and my knees, Oliver makes his transition. See how Oliver's keeping his head nice and tight to my head as well, so he stays in good control everywhere. Good tight seatbelt grip, good hooks. And then we're going to try to get the grid off. Oh, shit. Good. Oliver's had lots of practice with that. Alright, good job, well done. 